Mr. Abbott, a lot of people like to say Albert, but it's Abbott and Costello. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let this play for about five minutes at the beginning because I'm sorry, these two idiots were hilarious. Uh, this is called the straight man, okay? And everybody always hated the straight man, Laurel and Hardy, okay? Everybody always hated the straight man because the straight man was the one who was the con artist. Hold on, y'all, pay attention to this. We're about to have some lunch. both sides with dull knife, while pounding, sprinkle with grated Parmesan cheese, dip in beaten egg, then in breadcrumbs. Saute in butter until nicely brown. Garnish with chopped parsley and lemon slices. Now, doesn't that sound good? Delicious. Would you like that? I'd love that. Well, you are. Have a good time. <laughs> don't be a hog, please. You don't want to get indigestion like you've had before, do you? No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, it's delicious. I thought you'd like it. This is the best yet. Yeah. Especially when I palm both sides of the knife. Yes, yes. I didn't do it. It wouldn't taste like this. Very tender. Yeah, it's a now, ladies and gentlemen, the unique thing about this is that's a live audience. And there is no screenshot of a person saying laugh. They didn't do that back then. They didn't start that until the 70s. There was no laugh. They didn't start all the laugh tracks and all that stupidity. These are people who are actually laughing because they actually thought it was funny. Now, what I want you to see is watch Mr. Just, just pay attention. Costello! I chew it real well. Can I have some dessert? Uh, dessert, 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 dessert. Uh, um, all I've got left is bread pudding. What do you think I am? Peasant? I eat. Give me something good. That's all i got left. Well, then I'll make this do. Are you satisfied? I'll show you how I look out for you. Oh, boy. I give you all the delicacies. <laughs> Treat you nice. You're good and full. Just at the spot. See, all I leave for myself is a broken down ham sandwich. Look <laughs> <laughs> out for my pals. That's a real ham sandwich. Can I have some? Yeah, see what you can do with that. <laughs> that is a real ham sandwich, too, is Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Can I have the fat, maybe? Mm. The fat? If there's any left, I'll give it to you. <laughs> butter you could scrape off it, maybe, and give me some? Butter. <laughs> Now, I want you to watch his mouth in a second because you're going to see that he is not going to be able to keep it to himself. And you know they had to do this several times. There ain't no way in the world this was a one-take thing. But, hey, this was back in the times when they didn't do double takes. This was live. So watch and see how he's not going to be able to keep a straight face. Pick up that paper. Costello, pick up that paper. Man, don't. Don't you know that the city spends thousands of dollars every year to keep these public parks clean so the taxpayers can enjoy them? Don't you know that? I'm a taxpayer. Shut up. I'm a taxpayer and I can prove it. I got it right here. See what it says there? Department of Internal Revenue. Income tax division. Luke Costello, that's Mr. Luke. Mr. Luke Costello, put on. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because this is Albert and Costello, and they're about to tell you guys what's really going on with taxes. Y'all, um, I got to take this. But the problem is I got to put y'all on pause the hard way. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a county office. And they were asking me, how do I pay for things? <laughs> and I simply had to let them know that the majority of what I do, I do for people for free. And that I consult with companies for free. And that most of what I do, nobody pays me for it. I volunteer my services. You got a problem with that, then we're going to have a problem. All right, getting back to the taxes. And that call I definitely had to take because that person I <clears throat> gave a piece of my mind to when they first called me. 
And so what we're going to do before I start playing my radio is I'm going to let them get into the first minutes of this conversation. We're not going to play the whole video. Come on. Hey, you never told me you got a letter from the government. How come? I got it right here. Oh, did you read it? No, I'm afraid to read it. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, wait a minute. Right. You should read my mail. It's got oh, my name on it. You're not supposed to read my mail. If it's bad news, get it over with. What's the use of pretending? Enjoy the sandwich, Asia. Yeah, it's delicious. An enclosed check covering your overpayment of income tax. 13 cents plus interest. Mmm. Let me see. Can I go see this check, bro? All right. I give you the best of everything. With me, it's just the opposite. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear them talk about overpayment? Can you give me no sandwich when I have? I'll give you. Y'all need to hold on. I'm talking right now. Did you hear them talk about overpayment? Just did a video letting you guys know about overpayments. Ladies and gentlemen, all of you have received at one point in time or another a check before they started doing this automated stuff, a check from the IRS talking about an overpayment. What you all don't realize is that you're always making an overpayment to the IRS. So I'm going to give you something that they won't give you and nobody else will give you. Ladies and gentlemen, all of your personal expenses, all of your consumer goods, all of your household goods, all of your personal expenses, amend your tax filings for the last seven years and get your money. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't even going to mention that to you guys until I saw this. And I'm watching it for the first time. I may have seen it a long time ago because I am an avid and Costello fanatic. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something so that you would understand. The law holds that you have the right to your personal, private property. Personal, private property. What does that mean? Mama, what does that mean? That means that Congress has no jurisdiction over your personal, private property. Congress only has the authority for regulating the 10 square miles around D.C., Go back and look at it, Article 1. Okay, believe it is Clause 8, Section 17. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Congress only has, quote-unquote, somewhat the authority to regulate commerce. Congress cannot regulate commerce amongst private individuals. That's why you can't be taxed on your loan from the bank because it was a personal loan. Ladies and gentlemen, you all have been taxed on that junk. Go and get your money. Don't call me up asking me how to document this. I'm telling you what you need to do. You need to figure out how to document it. Many of you are talking about, well, I got to figure out a way to make money. Go and get your money. It's been sitting there waiting for the last seven years. You have been overpaying for all of the seven years. The law says, the law says that your consumer goods, your household goods are non-taxable. They are exempt from taxation, but you've been paying taxes on it. The law says that your cost of living is exempt. Let me, I'm going to show you something in a minute. Now, I'm going to be doing two things. We're going to let Albert and Costello play for about another two minutes. So one second. Uh, 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 just a minute. Hello, Mr. Fields. We thought you were asleep. We don't want to wake you. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Fields, I'm terribly sorry we have no money for the rent, but we were looking for a job. And... You've got a job. We have? You certainly have. Here. You're going to pass out these handbills. We don't pass out first. You pass out every single one of them. Now, remember. The printing bill on these is almost $50, so don't waste them. Come on, bring them along. 
By the way, fast. I got a job. Come on. Oh, sit down, relax. And remember, I'm going to check up on you to see that you don't waste any of them. <laughs> Telling you, Lou, Mr. Fields is not going to like it when he finds out that you lost all those handbills. Look, okay, Abbott, all I did was leave them on a curb. When I came back, they were gone. Sure, possibly the trash man come along and pick them up. I wouldn't want to be in your boots. I got an idea. No. Mm-hmm. Let us mix up some of those handbills. Now, you heard Mr. Fields say those bills cost $50 to make. Where are we going to get $50? We can still make up some of them handbills. How? With that little printing press I got for Christmas. Well, tell me that's still working. Sure, I got my hand caught in it a couple times. Come on. There it is, Abbott. Isn't that a little gem? But what are you going to print on, Lou? You need paper, don't you? And paper costs money. Well, how much money you got? Oh, I don't know. You know, there's 75 a dollar, a dollar, dollar 60. Dollar 60. How are you fixed? Well, I got to set the check for 15 cents. Well, come on, let's use that every little bit counts, Come on. Wait a minute. The lights ain't right here. Okay. What's wrong with them? Listen, if they say they owe you 13 cents, 13 cents is what they owe you. Come on. But I mean, it's... Uh... We'll put it all together, Lou. If you want to buy paper, we're in a hurry. What's the matter? What are you looking at? 13 cents, Lou. It's... Have it. What? Look, look. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I had no idea it was going to take that turn. I'm actually glad that it took that turn. You know why I'm glad it took that particular turn, ladies and gentlemen? Because that turn was important. A million dollars. What you guys don't realize is that the IRS gives out million, million dollars, two million dollars, eight million dollar checks all the time. Many of you guys want to go after that because you're greedy. That's right, I said that. You are greedy. And why you are greedy, I don't know. I, I don't have any clue. I just know it won't work. Okay? What you're going to have to do, and you are going to have to realize this, that you cannot go for the gusto. Going for everything all at once, whoo, doggy, will only get you behind in trouble. So stop being greedy. Ain't no reason for y'all to be greedy. None. Absolutely, positively, doodly, none. So, what we're going to suggest, and we're just simply going to suggest this, ladies and gentlemen, because it's absolutely necessary. It is necessary for you all to understand, because it's 100% positively, doodly, necessary. If you have $80,000 and you've never gotten an $80,000 check, then you cannot go for the gusto right now. Many of you don't realize you can file quarterly. Many of you don't realize you can file biannually. Okay? Biannually, semiannually, same word. You can file every six months. You can file, technically, if you really wanted to, you can file your taxes every month. They cannot restrict you from paying Uncle Sam. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you that if you were to write off your living expenses, documenting it as household consumer goods, putting in the Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, Section 102-109, which shows that household consumer goods are exempt from taxation. If you were to do that, 
you would save yourself a whole lot of money. I'm just saying. That's the first thing I would tell you. But again, most of y'all's, and I, I didn't mince my tongue, most of y'all's is greedy. 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 You ask for way too much. Now, there are those who the IRS says, hey, homie, you owe us $80,000 in income tax returns for the year of 2012. But you did not do an amended filing. Well, I don't pay any taxes. That's right, but they're saying you owe taxes. So either you have to challenge what they're saying or write off your living expenses and get your tax credit. Ladies and gentlemen, those items are a write-off. You can round up to the nearest dollar. If you don't have the receipt, go online, find out what the price was for the year that you purchased that. Now, again, I have credit cards, okay? I have debit cards and credit cards, and I do everything on them. Why? Because it documents that I purchased it, that I purchased the item. Or if I'm using the company card, it documents that the company purchased the item. All I have to do is keep records. That's where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to talk about keeping records. But the first thing, let me see if it's up. Let's see if I pulled it up. Where is it? Uh, positive law title errors. That's from yesterday. Give me a second. I got to find out where it is. Online. No, that ain't it. Y'all give me a second so I can find it. I got to find it, okay? All right. So give me one moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I went to this site right here. It's called the Pirate Bay. That's where I first found out about Abbott and Costello, that particular video. That's just to let you know. And instead of downloading it from here, which made no sense, I decided to download it directly from YouTube because I knew somebody had it up here. And so what I did is I put in tax. Well, I'm not really looking for tax. And what there, there are two things that I want to mention here. We're going to do... A-C-C-O-U-N-T-I-N-G. Ladies and gentlemen, I need an accounting software. I don't know which one. Hey, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike's going to be in my background. And he's got a little something he's going to tell us about. Mike, could you go ahead and get to it already? Michael Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, say what you want about this man, and I know many of you have a lot to say. He did! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you guys to understand, he could sing, sorry, and some of the songs this man put together... Ain't nobody put together music like this, man. Ain't nobody came up with the beats he came up with. Ain't nobody came up with the rhythm. Is He was unique. Okay? That's what I have to say about Mike. I'm, I'm trying to turn it down, not turn it up. Okay. Now, while that's playing in the background, I don't know Adrian Raffery, but this was 2018, 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, he's talking about 100 ways to save money on your taxes legally. The essential guide for all Australian taxpayers. Now, you see it says Australian. Hey, guys, guess what? I promise you the same taxes work for American taxpayers. So do yourself a favor. Okay? Go ahead and check it out and see if it applies to the United States. I promise you it does. Because remember, the United States is where the system started. Do you not understand the great experiment was a world experiment? The United Nations was the one who was a part of all of this. So if it works in Australia, it definitely works in 
like every and girl it works in the United States. Okay? Please understand that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the one thing that I say to everybody who wants to copyright a document. Where their documents fail when they copyright a document, I want you to pay attention to something. Hold on. Okay, you're gonna go there. Love you, librarian girl, all the time. Sorry, I, I love this song. It wasn't one of his more popular songs, but it was, the song was just, ladies and gentlemen, it was just this song. It's called Librarian Girl, and it's a stupid and silly name for a song, but the way the song is done is what I appreciate. You know what? Wait a minute. I don't think he did it. Uh, most people who do documents like this, they make one mistake. Let me, let me, let me get there. I don't think it's going to let me get there, y'all. It, it's, it's doing that right there, and as long as that's happening, that means it ain't going to let me get there. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think he did it. No, I don't think he did it. And that's a shame. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the thing, and I know that it's got to be in here. Look, pensioner tax offset. So he even talks about offsets. Ladies and gentlemen, all of your personal property that you paid for, those are called personal expenses. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've already talked. I've already shown you the case law. I've already shown you the information. You get to write that junk off. Okay. I did see one. I'm looking for the other. There, there's, there's got to be another one. And what I showed you earlier, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that he used one case law. And that's what I'm looking for. Not case law, but uh, code for Australia. And that's where people make a mistake when they use codes that don't belong to them. Remember, those codes are public codes. They belong to the public. They don't belong to the individual. They don't belong to the government because the public is obligated to follow them. So there are public codes. I'm going to be interrupted here shortly. I'm waiting on UPS to come. Oh, Nick, please, you work for UPS. I don't work for no UPS mother. Okay. <sighs> now, you see it says similar to the help phones. If this is a copywritten phrase, not allowed to use it. And then copyright your document. Sorry. But for the most part, this individual is pretty smart. Because I'm looking through the whole document, and not once do I see a code. So I can't put this document, I cannot put this document up there for you guys. Okay? If he used codes, then I could put it up there, and even if it's Australia, I can still put up the code document, because he can't copyright the code. He can't even get permission to copyright the code. Okay, it is Australia. They run off of the same system. I did see UCC for a second there. Now, I'm not looking. I am looking for the code. I'm not, you know, it was CAA. That's what I saw. I thought it was UCC. But, ladies and gentlemen, what I can tell you is this one, this individual isn't stupid. So, I cannot put this up there for you guys. Okay. I can put his address up there so you guys can contact him and acquire this document. Hold on. Look at that. He has kept true. Okay, he has kept true. Not once does he put a single code. He puts references, and he's allowed to do that. Okay. Can't copyright the code. So use the code, then that's the no-no. But he didn't do that, ladies and gentlemen. 
this individual, and this is a, how many pages? 283 pages. Not once did he do that. Now, what you're going to have to do when you download the document, now this was 2018, 2019. I'm going to his address, so those of you who want to contact the young man, okay, National Library of Australia, okay, the moral rights of the author have been asserted. All rights reserved except as permitted by Australian Copyright Act. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. For me putting this up here and showing it to you, I'm allowed. Criticism and review. You got to understand it's the same laws in America. That's the unique thing. Okay, let's continue. I like the fact that whoever this is, I don't know this person, but I, I, I love the fact that he knows what he's doing. You know what? I did not know this was the Four Tops, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I, I thought this was uh, Joe Tex or somebody. Okay, I did not know that this was the Four Tops. All this time, <laughs> Lord have mercy. You guys may not be, uh, be hearing the song completely, but this is When She Was My Girl. Okay, I've always liked the song because of, I want to get the address so I can show you guys the address because I had it earlier. So that if you guys need to uh, get a copy of this from the young man, but I don't see the address anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I did see the address earlier, but I don't see it now. Oh, well, no address. Now, here's the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever done legal research? Well, look at that. Rental property deduction, foreign investment, capital gains tax, he gives you a hundred and some odd different repairs and maintenance on your car or your home. Okay. Oh, and then you also get a depreciation tax on your property if it loses value. Um, then if you're on government assistance, ooh -wee! Um, let's see, what else? Hey, look, claiming self-education expenses. Y'all better wake up, people. So I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all needs to pull this document from the young man, ask him for his permission, and when you do it, look at it. Trust deductions. Okay? Low income earners. It's, I promise you it's the same tax law in the United States as it is in just the percentages are different. Same tax laws. Why? Because it's universal. This is a tax gain. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, I woke up this morning and I found a letter that she wrote. Okay. Managerial accounting, intermediate accounting, advanced financial accounting. Okay. This is a book. Right here, book, book, book. I don't want books. Look, bookkeeping and accounting, all in one, for dummies. You know, I'm going to do this one. Baby, I'll be sitting here waiting on you to come home again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I am doing is I am suggesting that each one of you, your grandmama, your grandfather, your uncle, your cousin, your nieces, your nephews, what I am suggesting that each of you do is get an accounting software. They are easy to find. As a matter of fact, uh, do point of sale, P-O-S. There are several free accounting softwares out there. All you gotta do is type in Google, P as in Paul, O as in Oliver, S as in Sam, software. POS, point of sale. With all of the different individuals out there trying to be entrepreneurs in all of these countries, ladies and gentlemen, there are tons of point of sale software out there. So do yourself a favor, 
and do the point of sale. You know, this is irritating because what I put in there, I don't. I want an application. I don't want the. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, if you use this right here, do not be tempted to do uh, the so-called uh, pornography. Ain't no need of you ruining your reputation and or your what's the word I'm looking for? Your opportunity with the true God, because he already told y'all how much he doesn't appreciate it. Okay, he ain't no joke. All right, we're too far deep into these so-called last days. Don't be tempted by the stupid stuff. Show yourself to be more wise than that. Okay, this thing says accounting book premium. Don't want an accounting book. Look, peach tree. I ain't seen peach tree in a long time. This is 2006. And 2006 will work. Why will it work? Because it's the same accounting, ladies and gentlemen. Accounting hasn't changed. Microsoft Office Accounting Professional. I have no idea what that junk is, y'all. Okay, go and look for accounting software for yourselves. Go to Google, type it in there. Point of sales works perfect. Sometimes I, I, I cry. That's my boy, Anthony Hamilton. And he's telling y'all that Charlene, okay? So Anthony Hamilton, everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got that and we got that. We're gonna minimize this and time's up. Oh, that's progressive. That's my insurance company. Ladies and gentlemen, I have progressive. Me and Flo, we, man, we together like, you know, this is a free software I'm about to open up, ladies and gentlemen. I have Progressive for my automobile, literally, for full coverage, and it's a 22-year-old vehicle. My insurance is less than $500 a year. I kid you not. And for the... RV, the fifth wheel, that is, how much was that for the year? I think $280 for $35,000 worth of insurance on the RV. Progressive. Now, I don't know if they're going to do the same for you. I don't have any accidents or any of that in the last blah, 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 blah years, okay? So I don't know if they're going to do the same for you, but I know that Progressive, They've done me all right. Okay? So that's just me letting you guys know. This is a software. This is called High Tech Bill Soft. It's a free accounting software. It's a free point of sale software. Ladies and gentlemen, what I am making the suggestion to you is download this free software and use it to do your accounting. You're gonna keep two separate books. One set you're gonna keep as the credits. That's the fact of what's being paid out. And the debits you're gonna document as the deferment of the amount that hasn't been paid back. It's been deferred. You're going to keep a positive and a negative side. Credit side, the positive side. The debit side, the negative side. So you, when you write the client's name, let's say it's the United States of America, then you'll create two accounts. One account saying United States, blah, 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 credit. The other account saying United States, blah, 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 debit. You keep those two accounts. You put the exact same transaction in each but one of the transactions, the debit transactions, you will put an indicator of negative. And you will put the amount for the negative. Hold on, let's uh, open. Take me to the limit. Take me to the limit. You know what? I did not know this was the Eagles. 
when I was in the last facility, there was a gentleman. His name was, dang it, why can't I remember that fool's name? I see his face right now. And I cannot remember the man's name. I mean, this idiot was stabbing himself in the foot every single minute of the day. Not literally, but figuratively. He was on his way. I did paperwork for him. He had been denied parole, so he came to me. I did his paperwork. His name was Mike. And I did Mike's paperwork for him. Mike was Hispanic. And while I'm doing Mike's paperwork, everybody else is telling them that I don't know what I'm doing. I told him if he wants to believe them, go right ahead. Because you have a lot of haters in there. They don't want nobody to get a leg up. And so I do Mike's paperwork, and he gets another hearing because of the paperwork. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I give him a simple way to pay me, and I, I it's not even much. And next thing I know, ladies and gentlemen, they give him a hearing, and they grant him parole. And do you know, he never said thank you. And then when it came time for him to be released, do you know he never told me? It was just... Hey, you know, Mike's being released tomorrow. Really? Yeah, Mike's being released. He, the parole, he's making parole. I said, really? He is making parole? I said, that's interesting. I sit up here and do all that work for this mother, and he makes parole, and he doesn't even say thank you. Now, I didn't do it for a thank you. It was a common courtesy. That's all it was, ladies and gentlemen. So let's do this. Let me show you. Again, this is high tech. Hi. Hi tech. Hey, how you doing? Man, I ain't seen you in a long time. Oh, meet commerce? No, I'm I'm sorry, I haven't been doing much. Yeah. Man, been a little deflated. You know what I mean? Oh well. Always hit that button. Told you fingers a little wide. All right, 111 West U C Y, West Lucy. What city? D.C. And what state? D.C. Wait, hold on. Let's see what it put. No, we just gonna put D.C. And what's the pin code? I ain't got no pin code for you, homie. What's the country? Oh, why y'all got India locked in? Man, they got India locked in. I can't unlock it either because this is a free version. Because this is made for individuals in India. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to enable both of these because we're not doing manufacturing, but we might as well have as much access as possible. Taxation method. GST composition scheme. Okay, and we're not gonna put no numbers there. And we're gonna put www.www and w at, okay? So there you go. And we're gonna put 555-555-5555. Okay, that's the phone number. Now we're gonna save. Oh, uh, invalid state. Oh, snappity wappity. Oh, because it's India. Okay, so I, I'm not going to suggest, yeah, create the new company. You guys don't really need the state. Thank you. Now get out of my way. Now that's the first one. Now when I want to create another customer, because remember, I did that one. Add client. Okay, now I have to do the same thing over again, but this time, because the first one's going to be positive, this time it's, yeah. 
States. And I can just put a negative there to do it. And the city is these, uh oh, DC and the state. Oh, that's right. That's the state. And W at www www. Okay, phone number five 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 and contact number, no contact number, and debit and credit. It already does it. Oh Lord, debit, you better believe it. Opening balance. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is the United States, so I have a claim against them for nine hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero okay document type uh government id and then i put the account number like sat dash three two one seven boom okay and then no, we don't. Well, no, we put the birth date. What's the date that this account was open? Hold on. It is 2018. Now, look, I could have gone straight to 2018 easier, but October 22nd. Hold on. October 22nd is the date the contract. Well, actually, it was October 18th. October 18, apologize. All right, now if I want to get, let's say, you saw how it was all the way up into 2020. Let's say I want to get to 2017. All I got to do is click up here and it will give me what I need. Or I can click right here and 2018, okay? I can just type it in. Anniversary, we don't have an anniversary. Credit allowed, yes, we're gonna give them credit. Credit limit, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, remark, D-E-F-E-R-R-E-D. -E -E and watch this. Wait a minute, please enter the required field. What required field? Oh, contact number? Five 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 five. God. Yeah, I want to create another account. We better get on out of here, mother. Okay. Uh, new customer, United States added successfully. Okay. So now we have the two accounts, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And look at what it does to the balance and everything. Now, because this is India, I have to then change the accounting method okay i have to change it i have to go into where are we not invoices payment history questions cash alerts no checking cash alerts uh no not that either really send email that works for me lord have mercy that works for me there should be, I think this because it's the limited version. Hold on. We already saved this, didn't we? This is Michael, and he's singing. Another day has gone. And apparently he's still all alone. Michael Jackson, everybody. Singing a song written by. Mr. R. Kelly. Let's see. Right off. Lord have mercy. Are you sure to write off the United States account? Warning. You won't be able to undo this change. Well, let's let's do this. Right off. 
Ladies and gentlemen, did you see this? Lord, have mercy. It does the write-off for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is called High Tech Bill Soft. Okay. Lord, have mercy, ladies and gentlemen. It wrote it off. It wrote it off. It did the accrual method for us. Lord, have mercy. Though you're far away. I think I'm going to pay for this stupid software. Honestly, not joking. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. There is, we're going to move that out of the way because I can get back to that anytime. This is what I was looking for. Yes, I think, I think, I think I'm going to pay for this software. I think I'm going to have the company pay for this software. Why? Don't, just because I'm paying for it don't mean y'all got to pay for it, okay? Because y'all going to pay for it, okay? Um, ladies and gentlemen, you ain't got to follow me. Okay? You ain't got to follow me. Uh, let's see. Users, biometrics, no email, sims, printing, sequence, taxation. I definitely wanted the, I don't know, uh, footwear slab, enter footwear slab limit. Ten uh, tax percentage if available. No, don't want that. Uh, yeah, not interested. Billing. It is the dollars. I want dollars and not their. Um, hey, barcode. Does the barcode too? Serial number. Text box. Yep. Credit limitation. Warning. No, we don't want no excluding of taxes. Delivery, uh, see, I think it might be under general. I am here with you, though you're far away. You know what? I am here to stay. This is what I'm looking for. Where's my USD? USD, where is it? It ain't got no USD, y'all. It ain't got no USD and no dollar. Always in my heart. Cause you are not alone. Yeah, see, it don't have what I need. Yeah, so it doesn't, I, I can't set it the way I want to set it, but I promise you, I know it will let me you know what I'll be? I'll be there. Cause you are not alone. Okay, so I just have to set it to dollars. It may be here, but I am not trying to do all of this while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, click here to upgrade. Let's find out how much it is. And then I'm gonna let you guys go cause you no, know, I got one last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you guys something. So I clicked upgrade. Um, Cause you are not, a, you are not alone. I am here. Oh, you're far, oh, you're far away. You and me. You are always in my heart. Come on now. Sorry. That's my song, as you can tell. I was going to show you guys how to do the negative, but you don't have to do it because that software does tax credits. Lord have mercy. It does the accrual method. Hold on. Let me uh, find that software. Let me find that software for you. Each day through my window, ladies and gentlemen, I am a happy man right now because I it was my job to look for such a software for the company because this is what we're getting ready to do. This is how we're going to take care of all of our sad packers. So just be patient, okay? H-I-T-E-C. H. High-tech. 
B I L L S O F T. Out of all the fellas in the world, she belongs to me. This is Voice the Men again, ladies and gentlemen. They're singing about their imagination. Apparently, it's not the first time. Billing Software India. Ladies and gentlemen, my problem is there may be a billing software that does the same thing that's designed for the United States that is roughly the same price. Okay? But what's going to happen is I'm going to check it out first. But more than likely, because it does the accrual method for you, Lord have mercy. The only problem is, see, it's an India software, so getting it in English is the other thing. Okay, let's see. Full license, download free version. I don't want the full free version. I want a cost. So I might give them a call tonight. I do have the ability of calling them. Um, let's see. Our billing software is 100% compatible with GST regulations and users can generate multi-rate, multi-item invoices, generate invoice with one click, manage client accounts, so you don't have to create two accounts with this one. Create multi-size barcodes, track your inventory, support your POS point of sale printers, uh, GTS taxation calculation, detailed business reports, biometrics. Uh, we ain't doing no biometrics. Uh, emails, salaries, generate reports. Okay, but I haven't gotten the price yet. What, what's up with the price, homie? But in reality, she doesn't even know me. What, what's up? What, what's up with that? How come she don't know me? Okay, you can switch the full license. Check pricing. Okay, it's a link. It doesn't actually show you it's a link until you hover your mouse over it. They must be losing a lot of money. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see. If it's outlandish, if the price is outlandish, then I won't be getting this one. You see, that's what I need. I need it to be American. So let's see what the price is. Come on. And the uh, most simple, powerful billing software comes with. See, it has the U.S. dollar symbol. So, you know, I was sitting on the dock of the bay Well, after I was sitting in that morning sun. And I, I was sitting there till the evening came, y'all. And as I watched them ships come in, I went to Los Angeles and there were no ships rolling in at all. You know what I mean? This is Percy Sledge, ladies and gentlemen. And he's singing about that dock of the bay. He's doing a tribute to Otis Redding. You know, UPS should have been here by now. And I'm a little disappointed that they're not. I don't know what this equates to in dollars, ladies and gentlemen. And so I'm disturbed by it. So I'm going to have to call them on my... Uh, but like I said, you don't have to use this software. You can use a compatible software. So that's what I would suggest. All right. I will. All right. All right. Fine. No, because there's some people asking me to help them. I can already hear the voices and the, the screaming at the television and at the computer screen and whatever else they're using. Looks like nothing's going to change. Everything still remains the same. Why does everything remain the same, Lyle? 
I, I can do what eight people tell me to do, but I can't do nothing because it remains the same. Sitting here, resting my bones, but this loneliness won't leave me alone. It's 8,000 miles I've rolled, y'all, just to make this dock my home. Ladies and gentlemen, um, that little chiming you're hearing in the background, that's Amazon. Okay. Give me one second to... As a matter of fact, I'm going to put y'all on, haul, on hold while I listen to my Doc of the Bay. Once. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a couple of hours since uh, I put you guys on hold earlier. And what I really need for you guys to understand, you know, I don't know why my iHeartRadio is hanging. It shouldn't be hanging. Okay, so that just means that it don't want to be played. So I'm going to leave the iHeartRadio and go back into it. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave everything on the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been sitting up here thinking, and like I said, about two hours, just to find these two programs for you. Um, what I said I was going to do, this is a point of sale, QuickBooks point of sale 2013. I have that on my system already, and so I decided to go ahead and just load it up. And because it's a point of sale, does inventory, does customers, it was one that I was thinking about using. However, we also have this free software. This is Aronium, A-R-O-N-I-U-M, A as in Apple, R as in Robert, O as in Oliver, N as in Nancy, I as in Ivan, U as in Uncle, M as in Mary, Ironium. It's a free software. It has similar features as the other software that we were talking about, the one from India. However, there are two things that are going on here. The one from India, I've downloaded. It's called High Tech Bill Software. Open when done. So I'm going to open it up later, and I'm going to install it. Now, it says that QuickBooks Point of Sale want to access the Internet. You ain't, I ain't gave you permission to be accessing the Internet. That's what WebRoot do. WebRoot say, ain't nobody going nowhere unless we say so. Okay? That's WebRoot. WebRoot say, y'all ain't doing nothing unless we allow you. So this is the QuickBooks software, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I've never used it. I don't know if it's going to let me do the positive negative. Okay? Got that? Okay. So, oh, Lordy. This is T-Mobile. I got to take this call. So, give me one second, y'all. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have the two softwares, and I'm going to definitely suggest, and the suggestion will be what is you guys giving me what are you saying here threat identified you found the threat well then you gonna get rid of that threat uh-uh get rid of it yep take take and get rid of that threat all right that's web root i downloaded a program there is a a guy his name is sadim Sadim PC. I used to think that he was all right, but nope, a lot of his junk has Trojans in it, and he'd be co-signing that. That's what WebRoot is there for, and the other virus scanners. But WebRoot jumped on top of it, so WebRoot, more power to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, the free software that I told you about, Aronium. Aronium is a billing software. I truly am either suggesting that one or the other one, uh, Billsoft. Billsoft, like I said, it lets you do exactly what you saw me do. You saw me actually demonstrate it. I'm going to let the scan go in the background. 
and let it take care of itself. But you saw me actually demonstrate that it will do the write-off, and that's all we're looking for, for you to be able to do your own arithmetic. As I started out at the beginning of this video, I'll say it again. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not to be paying taxes on your cost of living. You are supposed to be deducting. Listen to the word I just said. You are supposed to be deducting. Deducting. I'm going to minimize this. All of your household goods and your consumer goods. You are supposed to be deducting your cost of living. You guys have been going to these stupid tax preparers who don't know the law, who only know what they've been trained to do, and you haven't been deducting your cost of living expenses. The government cannot charge you on your cost of living. I'm going to, some of you need proof, and so we're going to get rid of the, that right there, and we're just going to go. I put household goods and consumer goods are not taxable. And then I have something, you know what? Household got to be together. That's their word. All right. Household goods and consumer goods are not taxable. That's going to be our keyword search. And then over here, I'm going to open up another. So we're right next to each other. C A S E T E xt.com case text y'all say hello to case text for me if you purchase case text let them know you heard it from here first you know what i mean i want them to know that somebody has been giving them some props all right what is taxable some items are exempt from sales and use tax Use tax exemption form. Pay attention to this. For certain food products, for human consumption, many groceries, sales, and the U.S. government, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that. Okay? Exemptions and exclusions. We're not asking them for permission, ladies and gentlemen. You're not asking them for permission what are the things that are not taxable? You're supposed to know what you cannot be taxed on. When you pay taxes on certain things and you don't write it off, you notice how it doesn't answer my question. And I specifically put household and consumer goods. But what are not taxable in California? Nobody's asking y'all for that. I didn't ask you what is not taxable. I gave a statement. So let's put the statement in brackets. Not bracket, you mean semi quotes. Semi quotes. And it gave me the same thing, which is interesting. Yeah. So what we're going to do is there's another way to do this. And I hate doing it the way I'm about to do it video. And while we do that, we're going to come over here to Case Text. Hey, Case Text, what up, homie? All right, uh, got some things we need to talk about. Come on, load on up. Don't know why you're taking so long. Let's do that again. Don't know why it's taking so long. Why well, I am downloading some things, as y'all can see at the bottom of the screen there. Let me get rid of him. No, I'll take care of him later. All right. This is taking too long. That shouldn't be taking that long. See, I'm going to have to jump all the way over here. Oh, it ain't even open. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait. 
It's going to make me wait. Luther Vandross said it won't make me wait, but he was wrong. Um, everything California can tax you for at the grocery store. Nobody, you guys, you people, you really don't understand. The sale and use of qualifying tangible personal property is taxed at blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, Congress does not have the authority to tax your tangible property, nor does the Supreme Court have the authority to say that they have the authority. I do apologize for the misunderstanding. It really is that simple. The Constitution doesn't give them the authority. Okay, whether it's a direct tax or an indirect tax. See, that thing says capital goods. Nobody said anything about capital goods. Okay, so we can't use this. This ain't going to help us. All right. So I tell you what, we're going to go back to case text. And I'm going to put you all on pause while I get this to pop up. One second. Usually when I put you on pause, it speeds up because of the resources. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you pay for household goods, consumer goods, and you pay the taxes on that, and you don't recoup those taxes on your tax return, that's your fault for not knowing what your rights are. So give me a second. Let me get rid of this. All right. Transactions or to whom such knowledge or skill may be attributed by his employment as an agent or broker or other intermediary who, by his occupation, holds himself out as having the knowledge and skills emphasis added. Further, the goods in question are not consumer goods, i.e., goods used or bought for primary, primarily for personal family household purposes. That's the exemption. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Now you notice UCC 9-109, UCC 9-102. There it is. That's your exemption. Everybody keeps saying, well, it's your exemption. You're, you're, you're such and such, such and such. Is, ladies and gentlemen, UCC Article 9, Section 109 is your exemption. You need to start putting that on everything. When you're writing your letters and anybody want to sit up there and tax you, let them know that those items are exempt and start putting your consumer goods, household goods. Pay attention, each one. You see Article 9, Section 109, consumer goods. Furthermore, the definition of consumer goods. Okay? You guys are paying taxes on stuff and you're not getting your money. Go and get your money. Look, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I'm required to pay taxes when I am obligated to do so. I cannot avoid that. When I say that I have not paid taxes since 1980 something, the last time I actually filed for tax return was 1994. You don't see nobody knocking on my door. I wish they would, because we'd have a lot to talk about. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not that I don't want to pay taxes. I will pay them if I owe them. I just don't pay them because I'm not a taxpayer as defined in law. So all you got to do is understand that. Pay attention. Commercial purposes for use in his lodging business. The truck cannot be construed or considered or classified as consumer goods. What are consumer goods? Goods are consumer goods if they are used or bought for use primarily for personal, family, or household purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, everything you own is for household purposes, ain't it? So you need to start writing that stuff off on your taxes. The statute clearly implies that goods used by a consumer for commercial purposes are not consumer goods. Okay? So as long as you're using it for household purposes, ladies and gentlemen, they're not taxable. Okay? That's why consumer goods for personal use, for household purposes, 
not for profit, commercial gain, or for gain, commercial gain. Goods are classified as consumer goods if they are goods that are used or bought primarily for personal, family, household purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, what's being said here? While I um, I, I have something I need to talk to y'all about, and I'm about to in a second. What's being said here is that every year you receive a tax return. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are required to pay taxes and you paid those taxes according to the tax rate and you went to pay attention and you went to the so-called tax agent and they helped you file your taxes, why are you receiving a refund? If you paid the taxes you were supposed to pay, why are you receiving a refund? Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a child tax credit, man, why are you receiving a refund? You should be taking that out automatically. Child tax credit, by the way, is not a refund. You get the credit for that, and they give it to you in dollars, monies. But ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, you see this also works with homes. The Truth in Lending Act. Definition of consumer product is nearly identical to that of the statute. Ladies and gentlemen, of course it's identical because anything that is primarily for personal, family, and household purposes, that includes your house. Stop letting them tell you that your home is real estate. Real estate is commercial. Stop letting them tell you your property is real property. That's why you don't use the lot, block, all of that junk. That's why individuals were doing the land patent so that their property would no longer be defined as real estate. Okay, you can correct the record. You have that authority. It is your property. No one else can tell you what your property is used for. Only you can determine what your personal and private property is used for because it's your personal and private property. Now, if you are using it for commercial gain, ooh, doggy, then you're gonna have to pay taxes after your expenses. See, everybody wants to pay taxes before expenses. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you write off all of your junk first, and then that's your income, your gross, not your net. You don't want to document your net income. Don't let nobody give you no instructions on net income because they gave you a form. You document your gross income. From that gross income, you subtract your expenses. Whatever is left is the income for which you can be taxed on. I didn't study this, I promise you. But I know for a fact that nothing in the law gives government the right to tax you on your living expenses. Consumer goods, household goods. Okay? You notice that's what I put in here in order to show it to you. Okay? And then I said are not taxable. You notice that none of these talks about the word tax, but you know they're all related to that word tax. We're going to do the keyword search this time. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And then we're going to talk after I show you this last thing. Who else is going to talk to you about this? Nobody else is going to dare tell you guys about this because of the flack that can come their way. Okay, this is only doing keywords. Consumer goods, if they are used or bought for use primarily for personal household goods, Thus, goods are classified according to consumer use. And the statute clearly implies that goods used for by a consumer for commercial purposes are not consumer goods. Ladies and gentlemen, goods are classified by whom? Thus, goods are classified according to the consumer's use. Ladies and gentlemen, they're classified because you classify them by the way you use them. Because the plaintiff purchased the truck for commercial use, 
For his logging business, he was not a consumer within the meaning of the statute. Okay? That's why people were telling you you want to be a consumer. Because you receive some protections underneath being a consumer. Don't go out there and just say, I'm a consumer, thinking that you, you own something. Do your research. Okay? Do your research. It is absolutely necessary. Oh, now it don't want to find something. The exact same words. The only thing I did was put quotations. Okay? The only thing I did was put quotations. So watch, we're going to move this quotation down here. Okay? And let's see if it's going to give me what I need. Uno, dos, cuatro, cinco, siete, ocho, nueve. Oh, you know what? There's a young man from Puerto Rico. I'm supposed to do a video on him. Sorry, I've been over swamped and overwhelmed. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about in a second. Hold on. We already received that. And already seen that. Missouri seen Missouri. So these are the same ones that we saw earlier. Okay. So basically, you need to understand the law, ladies and gentlemen. Goods are classified as consumer goods if they are used and bought for primarily your household purposes. They can not. Be taxable. Why do you think they can't tax you on food? Well, some states, they tax me on food. No, they tax you on the process. They tax you on the carton. They tax you on the plastic because they want to get every single dime out of you. They need to keep you destitute and poor. And then by telling you, you can't write off all of that junk you buy all during the year as a consumer. Excuse me, let me say it again. That you can't write off all of that junk you buy all year as a consumer? That's your fault for recognizing none of this. For not even understanding that when they call you a consumer, that means everything you purchase as a consumer, you're buying for personal use. That's why they're telling the consumers to get their so-called Christmas shopping in. You guys don't even know you get to write all that junk off you be buying for your family and friends. I've known this all my life. I got to admit, I tell people my father knew this stuff. This is what he and his friends would be talking about all the time. My father understood the whole issue of taxes. Okay? He didn't actually have conversations with me directly. But as I told you, I got to sit around him and his friends when they would be talking. And so I would pick up on certain things. This tax stuff, I've known. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to do, I'm about to go ahead and, uh-oh, let's see, an error occurred. Oh, then... We're going to cancel that then. I don't need no errors. Sorry, I have some things going on in the background on my Mac computer. And one of the items has been taken all day. And I am getting tired of it transferring files to a, what you call it, flash drive or a SD card. So I'm tired and I am exhausted and it's time for me to go lie down. So let me go ahead and break it down to you. The last couple of days, I have been very, very busy. And it is the barometric pressure today. It actually rained this morning. Not really rain drizzled. But I can tell that the weather is changing because this is what I go through every year. Spring and fall. Every year, six months, between six months apart, this is what I go through. It is not the funnest bestest, perfectest, perfectest. Are you sure that's a word? Perfectest is my word. I just created it. It's my word. Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I got to get up. Uh, the solar system is not complete. I'm still waiting for some parts to get here. And that uh, UPS that was supposed to deliver today, them fools didn't even come. And I cannot begin to tell you how happy I am that they did not show up. So the first thing I have to do is unplug the freezer. Yeah, I'm not going to run it all night. 
I'm not going to put a strain on the system. Plus, I don't need the freezer on all night uh, because I'm not freezing the food. All right. For the last couple of, about a week, there's been a lot of dizziness. And yesterday didn't help. I got a hammock, brand new hammock from Amazon. Hammock is very sturdy. The metals, the bars, man, very sturdy. The only problem is the design is very unsturdy. And so I sat in the hammock. I was going to sit there yesterday, get it about an hour to an hour and a half worth of relaxation. Plus, hammocks are pretty good for bad backs. And I have a bad back. And when I sat on the hammock, and I've had hammocks before, as I told, well, people who watched my videos when I was in Puerto Rico knew that I had a hammock and I had a hammock right on my front porch. And I would sit there and watch the rain and everything every day. And that's where I would go to relax, do videos, conduct meetings. I'm pretty fairly handy with a hammock. Even before I even went to Puerto Rico in 2003, I purchased a hammock and I had it in my living room. And that's what I used to sit on to watch TV. So I've had hammocks before. Not a problem with a hammock. When I sat on this one, the whole thing fell off to the side. Pretty much came from underneath me and I ended up hitting the ground. And hitting it kind of hard. So I've been in a little bit of pain for the last couple of days. It's brand new. I've only had the hammock for three days. Well, since Tuesday, so three days. And I called Amazon immediately and I told them. It also put a hole in the side of the tent. I have two tents outside. I have two more tents inside because the company gave a warranty on the tents. And when the wind and weather wreaked havoc, they replaced them. And so I have four tents. And they're supposed to be 12-person 12 pers 12 person tents. They're not 12-person tents. 12-person tents if they were all just sitting inside sitting down, but not 12-person tents if they're all laying down, impossible. Uh, for comfortable, five people can sleep in the tent comfortably without bouncing and hitting each other, four people without stepping on anybody's hand or feet. So these tents, they do have a little bit of size to them, and they are large enough to partition uh, areas off, so four tents do me pretty good. And so I was going to use one tent for the hammock. And I'd go out there and uncover the top part at night and watch the stars and, you know, lay down and just relax. Well, that idea went out the window. And so I had to follow the insurance play. I have not been filling up the par, but I've still been sitting up here spending hours doing videos and doing specific research for you guys. Like I said, this is not for me. None of this is for me. None of this information is helpful for me. None of it applies to me. I'm not doing this for myself. You know, you have other people, they do the videos because they want to be known. They want to have people talk about them. They Like, for instance, I tell people, you know, if you got something to say about me, go start your own channel. And a couple of idiots have started their own channel, and they've gone out about talking about me. However, what they're expecting is for me to make them popular by talking about them. <laughs> so that people could go watch their junk. Why would I do that? Nobody's going to get free advertisement off of me like that. that. That game has been tried and played, and it's played out. The amount of time... I'm spending doing this is taking its toll. But I told you guys this was going to happen. This is not about me uh, becoming exhausted. This is about, I told you that there was going to come a time when I wasn't going to be able to do this anymore. We're not there yet, but we are getting there. And so I want to give you guys a heads up. And, hey, there are going to be people going to talk about me. So let me explain something, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, going to be the ending. But you see this right here, named Jehovah? Well, I typed it in here because I wanted to show you. The Bible I use has the name Jehovah in it 9,478 times. 
That includes the reference section and all the other sections of it. And it doesn't include JA. J-A-H does not include JA. It only includes the name Jehovah. Well, technically, it's not Jehovah. It's Jehovah. The J has the G sound. So it is Jehovah. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 9,478 times. Can I ask you all a question? Why are so many people afraid to use that name? We're living in the last days. All the so-called prophecies that were supposed to be fulfilled up to this day have been fulfilled, with the exception of three major ones. Do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen, the three major ones are the very end. Do me a favor, go and take a look at Matthew. Listen to what I just said. Go and take a look at Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse, well, all the way to the 25th chapter. And let me know if those things aren't happening. That's all I want to know. That, that's all I'm asking for. Because if those things aren't happening, then there is no time at the end. There is no prophecy. There is no belief. Jesus did not exist. Go ahead. But if it is, why are people afraid to use the name of the true God? I don't understand that. I, I have people talking to me and they go, they're just about to say it and then they avert and decide not to say it. Why? Because apparently they've been taught that saying the name Jehovah is a sin. It's sacrilege or something. I, all I know is Paul says that all those who call upon the name of Jehovah will be saved. All those who call upon his name. Let me let me do this. Um, we're going to go to John because Jesus actually said something. It's the 18th chapter of John. Okay, so we're going to go to John, the 18th chapter. Hey, John, where are you going? Get back over here. And we're going to go... I didn't say Luke, I said John. Lord have mercy. Now it wants to play with me. Let's go back to John. Okay, John. It did show me that I clicked on John, but it didn't take me to John. John, you only have five times? I know the name Jehovah doesn't appear here only five times. So I'm going to have to go to the 18th verse. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. Yeah, it did it all wrong. So we're going to have to go back. Oh, that's right. Because he didn't use the name Jehovah when he said this. I apologize. That was correct. So we're going to go to John, the 18th chapter. So it'll be one second. We'll go to all publications. Then we're going to go to Biblia. Then we're going to go to study. Then we're going to go to John. One more. And then we can go to 18. And where's my 8? Let me hit enter. And then we go to verse number, I think it's 26. Notice what it said here. Nope, it ain't 26. Come on now. It's that 3-6 thing. No, it's not. It's not John the 18th. I picked the wrong chapter. Let's see. I picked the wrong chapter. We got to go backwards. We got to go backwards. Did I go back too far? I think I went back too far, y'all. That says 16. I'm trying to get to the 17th chapter. Can anybody tell me how to get to the 17th chapter? Do I make a right or a left at Union? You see, Union! <laughs> Yes, I'm an idiot. 17 chapter verse 26. I said 18 because I usually go to the 18th chapter to get to the last verse of the 17th chapter. So I saw, sorry. This is Jesus. You know what Jesus did? He was praying to his father. People say Jesus is God. Well, if Jesus is God, why is he praying to himself? It's the same reason how you talk to yourself all the time. You just talk to, no, it's not, okay. Righteous father. The world has indeed not come to know you because they think you're a trinity. 
the world has indeed not come to know you because they don't think you exist. The world has indeed not come to know you because they don't want to say your name. But I know you. And these, my true followers, have come to know that you sent me. You sent me. That, not that you are me, but that you sent me. I have made your name known to them. See, Christ's true followers know God's name. And I will make it known so that the love, Jehovah is the embodiment of love, with which you loved me may be in them and I in union with them. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus made it quite clear that he made his father's name known. Doesn't matter what Bible you get, John the 17th chapter verse 26 says that he made God's name known, his name known. We have the model prayer, our father, Lord in heaven, Hallow be thy name. The word hollow meaning to be held sacred, to be held in honor. Again, I cannot understand why people are afraid to use this name in these last days. Every single person that I've told, suggested, and even counseled on using his name to get out of their predicament, to figure out a way out, they have all done so and have all talked about the success they've had. Ladies and gentlemen, you some of you have been around to see all of the junk I've been through. And all in all, you see, I've had faith in one thing, and that is the God that I serve. And you've seen that I have survived it all, no matter what the issue was. Amazing, ain't it? All right, so, I hope the information in this video has proved helpful. I truly do. But as I said, I am going to have to take a break. I know that one week thing, that wasn't a break. You guys saw there were almost eight videos put up on Sunday. I haven't taken a break. Okay? Even while that was going on, I was still doing videos. So I am going to have to take a break because it is a lot. And, hey, gentlemen, ladies, this is a lot of information for one person to have. I'm just going to tell it to you like that. It's a lot of information. And then my phone rings off the hook during the day, and I take people's calls. Sometimes I have to tell people, no, I can't talk about that, and they still want to figure out a way to get me to talk about it. I cannot begin to tell you guys how offensive that is. If I tell you no, then the word is no. Okay? It, there, there is no getting around that with me. When I say no, I do mean no. You're not going to be able to sweet talk me into doing this or doing that or saying this. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Better go have a Coke and a smile. All right. I truly do hope that things get better for each one of you, including those of you who are the most ignorant people on the planet. You do deserve some type of relief. I truly hope that you all work on your tax credits, figure out the tax credit thing. I am trying to tell you, you don't have to change the system. You can use the system the way it is. It will work out. You just have to trust that it will work out now look i gotta go i would love to keep talking but i really am out of it so take care everybody goodbye